Hello, hello Biopiratians. This is the A team talking, and I am going to show those who want to how to do the how to use my tiger build, which I will show probably later on. How or using my tiger build, how to kill the Reaver Armadas, or for, so, uh, specifically the level 50s. And I will only be using one tiger because, well, I only have one tiger built currently and I'm too lazy to build more. I've got another one on the way, but it's another four days so it's done. So, we'll be using one tiger. Hopefully I can do it. I haven't done it yet, but hopefully I can do it. I think I can. I have good confidence on that my tiger can. Okay. Now I gotta go find me a... 50. There we go. Obviously you would want to kill your tiger. Actually, no, let's go kill my uh, gunboat currently, my lead ship. Do, 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 do. I hope you all can hear me. Not well, you know, I'll re up later, but... So, currently, I'm essentially just going to drive my one gunboat by hand. You'll obviously, use, when you do this, you'll, it's preferred if you use an entire fleet, but I only have one built currently. I've got a second one four days in. I started it when it was 19 days, and when it was a 19 day build, and then as soon as I, I, I have to wait 13 more days, they drop the build time down to 13 days, and so it's like I'm waiting another for another entirely built tiger. Which means Kickside pretty much screwed me in the ass. But I really don't care. There we go. Now that my gunboat is killed, I won't have to worry about him, him being an issue. Now, let's kill this Reaver. This is their weaknesses, obviously. Their strengths, their weaknesses, what it can get from it, and whatnot. So, let's get this started, shall we? Okay. So. Now I usually sit outside this ring here, this outer ring, because that's where his the max range is, uh, where's the land. As you can see over here okay now that's too close I don't think I can do it properly first thing I'm going to do is kill off these scouts here because they are going to get become a real big pain so oh, I will probably just end up sitting up here. Just outside the range. Now when you, when you surface, you're going to want to stay about right there. You want to get your ring outside their ring. Your range. You want to stay no closer than this just for safe measures because right currently if I surface the uh, the big uh, uh, medium sized guys, not the mother, but the big guys won't see me, they won't attack me when I surface only the little scouts will. The same with all, all of them. But if I go any closer, if I get to a certain clo uh, point, they will attack me. They will come after me and chase me down. As you should see here, I will surface and only these little drones here will follow. See? That's one of the probably one of the biggest points you're gonna make here. If I can just got kindly drop. There we go. Now I'm just gonna use my sticks here to Take them out. 
And now that I'm down for a good couple minute or so, I'll sit outside his range here somewhere. I don't know where it is exactly. Wait for him to spawn it. Get just outside his range, wait for him to drop, and then run after him. There's his range. We're going to sit right there. Wait for him to drop. And I'm going to move ahead. Up to about here. That way then he's in range of both my corpse. Like so. I'm going to turn around and run like hell. One down. And I guess I'm probably going to have to go through here. I just... I'm going to be screwed until these rings disappear. They do periodically disappear. So I'm just going to wait here until it the surface again. And kill off some more of those little irritating drones. Because they are irritating. Be a safe distance there. Now I'm gonna wait until that this guy here spawns his ring, then drops it, and then I'm gonna run in and kill him. Hopefully I can kill him in one run without actually because I don't think I'll be able to turn around inside these in between these two rings here. Actually I might be able to pull it off. And I did not expect that to happen. I am going to get pounded. I can get just outside his range. So I can draw. I'll be safe. Come on, drop. There we go. I have to get rid of all these little drones because they're irritating. shot. And now I'm gonna back off. I will get wrecked. That was an awkward... That was close, I will admit that. Obviously you do not want to do what I just did there. Oh, that certainly hurt. More than it should have. But obviously you wouldn't have an issue with that because you would be able to kill probably both of them if you had a full fleet and I only have one. Anyways. close that ring there. Get out the ring. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna make it this time, clearly. Well, that was a fail. Obviously, I can't. I clearly can't do it with one, but it, it gives you. I guess that gives you the general idea of how to kill them. Obviously, I can't do it with one because, well, it's one. I got just wrecked in that one there, and I couldn't get away. But that's generally the idea, is you want to stay outside the rings, obviously, and I just got set up with a bad set of rings. Bad set of, uh, mortar placements. So, well, other than that, that's a fairly general idea, and you, obviously, you clearly can't, you can do 30 with one, I've done it a billion times, but you, you, for some reason, I, obviously, it's not enough firepower, but, you can't do it with just one tiger, but when I get two, I should be able to do it pretty well. Pretty well. That's generally the idea. So, that being said, I'll give you my build on my tigers while we're sitting here, as I promised. Uh, this is currently the build I'm working with. It's D3P. I, I chose D3P compared to the D4P because D3P is a little easier to quicker repair than the D4P. And then the, the four st or five sticks and five Bs. You can use all Bs because the Bs are actually the, the deadliest part. I like the sticks for if I need to, I can cause DO2 over time as I run away. Um. And the sticks can be more deadly, after, but you need to hit them with a lot of torps for it to do anything, for the DOT to be unworth it. Um, speed system 5, because of the extra combat speed. It's a little bit more, not much, but a little bit more. Uh, the Nautilus battery is a must. Same with a uh, Caterpillar drive. Now, why do I, do I use these? Why do I use uh, this setup compared to with the uh, Magnus Drive 2? That's because the Magnus Drive doesn't add turn speed, which is can also be stupid crucial in those kind of moments. Whereas I was in a little bottleneck uh, zone, so to speak, and I couldn't turn around. Whereas the turn speed allows me to turn on a dime, literally, and it normally wouldn't affect me that much. Um, that's just that one was a little bit too close of a bottleneck. And uh, the Sonic Targeting 3 for the Sonar is what I, I use it for the Sonar, um, but, see my Sonar range 114, but I personally will probably end up using, end up eventually switching to, switching the so Sonic Targeting out for something, uh, when I get it, when something more useful than that. And then, if so, then I'll probably uh, convert all of my armors to. Yes, I have reaper forehead. Armors to. Um. Yeah, where is it? Possibly this. Possibly. I'll get my cloak efficiency up fairly high. Maybe it might do the. The D5S. Darn. Um, I'll probably end up doing this one here because it's a little cheaper to repair. And between the D4S and the D3S, there's really not much of a difference in armor points. Like I can see if you, if you have like six or seven armor spots on one polo sure, it can make a huge difference. Because there's only 500 difference in between the two. Whereas. They only got four slots, so it's not a big deal. But I'll probably end up doing something like this in the end here. Once, you know, once uh, Sonic Target, or once they find something to replace with Sonic Targeting that I actually think would be more useful than what I've got there. But my end goal would probably end up being something like. Uh, um, Go here real quick and see. 
Actually, that might be actually more useful than what, it, than what it was. That's cheap. It's a uh, that's built time too. Nice. Uh, the de wow, deflection per second. That's nice. Per shot, nice. That would be my cloak of fish. It would increase a stupid amount. My sonar range would drop to pretty much nothing. Pretty much non-existent. But it would also. But it, um, what I'm saying. Um, but I mean, like, my cloak time is 105. Wow. Um, my cloak efficiency is 94%, right? So, that would be essentially the end game there. And then I'm also going to build a second fleet of tigers similar to this. Which will probably be just as good, if not better. But I will be cramming on. If I remember right, I should have exactly. Oh, yeah, 10 bills, perfect. Do about Could probably pull off. Okay, here we go. This is what I'll end up doing. Is is I'll end up doing this as a build for my um for my. Uh, for my second set of tigers, my base hitters, I guess you could say. It'd be something similar to this here. Well, it's more of a base hitter, uh, mass fleet killer would be what this would, I guess you could say, would be better. Um, I'd probably end up on this build. I'd probably oh, hold on. Thinking here. Because it's. I'll probably end up using it to prep bases out most of the time. It would be this. So I'd probably use the much, much beefier armor for. More armor count. Um, and then instead of a uh, song targeting three or the strike warheads, which I'll probably end briefing now because I didn't realize I had that, we'll probably end up putting, uh, because most people don't realize that, where is it? There it is. Uh, uh, multi shot barrel system three does, it does affect the Cobra scatter guns. It has a, ma a great effect on it. And so it, it, it will hurt a lot if you get if you encounter a fleet with say four on each ship, which is possible. But you know, I like I put two. I could put four on, but I mean I, I put two on to even it out between my my ships because two on on four cobras equal or on four tigers equals uh, eight of my ten. But essentially, it will essentially it adds two. Uh, shot. So, in, in, so currently on this build, I'd be shooting five uh, uh, shots. Or, I'm sorry, not five. Uh, Fourteen shots. And so it will hurt a lot. Um, and then obviously you can also possibly increase that. With, I want to. I think they. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. okay. I don't want to talk myself. So I don't want to.
I think they have, um... Not quite sure it's... I haven't confirmed it yet or not, but I think... The splash upgrade... I'm not sure the splash bonuses affect... The cat scatter guns, but... The cobras, but... I would say why not, because... The cobras do have a splash stat. As you can see... As you can see, um... As you can see when I, uh, when I, I bring it up here, as you can probably see when I bring it up here, in the attack series, uh, splash, there's just attack, splash, 12. So it, I don't see why it wouldn't affect it, why it, why it wouldn't work, but it, you never know. It's cake play. You never know. But that's essentially my second build would be. Because I'm building two fleets of them. That's essentially my goal here. And then for those of the bonus, for those of you who are looking for something for a build to use against Reavers, the, uh, not Reavers, the, uh, Draconian, uh, Armadas for Uranium, this is personally what I use. It's not as very good. I, I more use these, my Punishers. My Railgun Punishers, they do quite a bit. That's after doing... 260s and... Or, like, two of the 100, um... Salvages, which is the equivalent of the old 60s. And then a huge... And then just... And then a couple of 75s, and that's what that damage is from. I haven't prepared them yet. But, this is what I use personally myself. But if you don't have Punishers... I'll show you that build there. If you don't have Punishers there... Um, here it's a. Uh, I use these my rhinos here, which are. I would recommend using my rhinos, which are. Use. I you can use one or two blades, but I personally cranked up the blades so it's even score. But you could use one or two blades yourself, but it's no point. There's really no point in my sense. Obviously, the trident missiles. I I put them in here because the, they they boost off the range of the blades if another ship is in range. So for example, like. If if uh, if one of the the if one an enemy is within the range of the tridents on one ship, they work on all. All ships will fire tridents for some reason I don't know, but whatever. But if you're if it's just on the outskirts, it doesn't work for some reason. But then I find the tridents are a lot more damaging than the blades, and my blades are at R15, I believe. Yep. So you can see just how more deadly they are. And then obviously I put the D5U, even though it has really no effect other than when you're in PvP. But I like it because I don't ever really do any base heading much anymore. I used to. And then here's my siege targeting is I use these I use these in the uh, the Legion raid. The Legion raids. The ones where you had to kill the uh, the Legion bases. These were pretty, and then obviously this build, but I would personally recommend using Speed System 5, but I didn't have it at the time as I built these. This is a must. It's a must. You, that's, if you don't, if you have that, use it right away. Don't ever uh, skip out on it, and obviously I have a better siege battery, but, you know. As I said, it's an old build. I don't use these much anymore. Um... But that's essentially my build there, is they're all the exact same, I'm pretty sure. And the reason why I put uh, put siege batteries on, and you probably won't end up doing it if you're only gonna use it for um for your armadas. I put on because I do a lot of the base heading with these, like the a lot of the smaller um But smaller uh, uh, Forsaken Mission targets, which I don't do anymore because I'm able to hit the big stuff now. Hence why this was pretty much destroyed because I took out an entire tier five in 
thing in one run. I did all of tier 5 in one run. Um, and if you ever want to, just message me or get a hold of me somewhere on Kixai or whatnot. And I will. I will. Get, I'll show you this build and how to use it and why it works so well. But. That is essentially the recommend. I would recommend you using these personally for the Armadas. The Draconian Armadas, the Uranium thingies. But I. If you have these, use these by far. Use Punch Punishers by far. They're a lot stronger than these. But if you don't have Punishers, then use these. I personally, out of these, or out with these, instead of using these, I sometimes use these, but I personally like these, as these seem to do a lot more. These are my, uh, this is usually how I set them up. A lot of my stuff is dead. In the raid. And essentially I use this because the entire fleet there, it's a little lightly armored, but I don't know if it's because of if there's a, it's a bug in the game or what, but I can using this fleet here I can get uh, a theoretical quote unquote boom, which is essentially just a an ex uh, an explosion using the uh, cry uh, cryogenic explosion on uh, unreactive hulls. I have no idea if it's a bug in the game or if it was uh, intentional, but they just ha it explodes like it's like every two or point two seconds or something like that. It's a lot. So that's there. But anyways, that's if you're gonna if you don't have punishers and you need to use um need to use some or need, and need to do our need something for our mod, use this. It's really heavy. You can't fit five. I don't know why. It's probably because it's super heavy, but you can't fit five. Um, if you don't, if you have Punishers or you just got them, get, make a fleet like this. They, they they hurt a lot when you hit someone with them. And then for, as my tigers, this is my tiger build. Obviously, I got wrecked because I only have one. And that's pretty much it. Anyways, uh, that's. Uh, my tutorial on how to do um, how to do the Reaver Armadas, the level 50 Reaver Armadas. I was like a wreck, but it's just general tutorial on how to do them and what and the tips I find to do do it better.